How did the hybrid cloud build team and other IBM technical teams uh, help Palantir in your journey? Omkar and his team have been critical to making this partnership happen, uh, especially Shivam, who I think is the hero of folks on the Palantir team, uh, who's really helped us with a lot of the setup along the way. Um, you know, as we got out of those early conversations and had to assess whether or not this partnership could really work from a technology perspective, from a design perspective, we did a bit of a proof of concept between our two technical teams. Um, and so the hybrid cloud build team was essential in helping us move very quickly to be able to get kind of the right parts in place to do that test between our technologies. Um, and of course, has been a partner to us every step of the way as we formalized the partnership and formalized the process. But uh, the speed, the quality of execution, you know, just, just the demeanor of the people we've been able to work with has been excellent across the board. So um, I, I think, you know, you, you guys have hold a special play in the, place in the hearts of the Palantir team. And actually, I know you are working on a very interesting use case um, with the Palantir Foundry application and how it integrates with Cloud Pack for data. So tell us a little bit more about how easy it was to integrate and what your journey to AI was. You know, I was talking with Sam Lightstone, I, I think I remember a comment he made where he said, you know, we try to be innovative where it makes sense and we try to be very standardized where it makes sense. And I think when it comes to open APIs, data formats, kind of standard ways of accessing the resources securely within Watson Knowledge Catalog, within the Watson model building interfaces, um, it was kind of leveraging a lot of the trends and open standards that we ourselves have been adopting as well. And so it was a very clean fit between the two technology portfolios. And it's made it very clear to say, okay, if we have data that we know and love that we've you know, kind of curated in our Watson Knowledge Catalog, how can we make that available inside of you know, Palantir for Cloud Pack? Which is going to be that you know those sort of those sets of modules from Foundry that will be optimized for working with Cloud Pack on OpenShift, and so um, all of that kind of technical integration work uh, is proceeding now, and I think is building on the investments both technology teams had been making for years. Finally, all this boils down to business and opportunities uh, that are opening up for both our companies. So, can you touch a little bit on that aspect as well? You know, again, how can we take AI and operational applications writ large and push them to the front lines of the business? And so, you know, I think if we, there's sort of, I think across industries, tons of opportunities we see for the combination of Cloud Pack and Palantir. Um, but I think, you know, industries that stand out in particular um, are those like finance and insurance and retail, and also those with like pretty sophisticated supply chains. Um, and the idea being is that you have users, you have business analysts, you have operational folks in all of these organizations that want to benefit from all the work that's being done around data integration, around analysis, um, and need to kind of have uh, the tools to be able to actually interact with those assets in a first class way and really operate and steer the business. Um, and so I, I think that, you know, we really see, I think, across verticals opportunities, but again, kind of in those first couple of sectors, but we're seeing a lot of opportunities kind of surface even before we've kind of formally had the chance to go to all the channels. We are really looking forward to working with you more closely moving forward and to the joint success of IBM and Palantir. So great talking to you. Thank you so much. Likewise. It. Thank you, Omkar. Really appreciate yeah. it.